South Europe, Middle East, Africa is a very interesting market. Uh, it's been um, Western Europe uh, for a very long time with a lot of Latin uh, behavior. We can see, if you look at, at the market trends that uh, we can see within our clients in IT at the moment, we see some caution about investment. Uh, clients don't want to jump and spend an, an enormous amount of money in unproven technology because the environment can be sketchy sometimes, there can be some recession environment, and they want to be sure that they do the right investment at the right time. They're very uh, cautious about talent retention and talent reskilling because at times of jobs being uh, transformed, being starting to be transformed by AI, they need to be sure that they have the right skills. So it means reskilling people, finding new people, attracting talent, and talent retention is also very, very, very important in their mind. If we look at the cloud, uh, there have been lots of discussion about sovereign cloud with uh, initiatives such as Gaia X in uh, Europe. And we see most of the European countries that are part of my region in South Europe, we see a lot of new local hyperscalers that are trying to develop sovereign cloud solutions. I'm not convinced that we've seen uh, the real difference between marketing and real willingness of clients to invest there because at the same moment, the offering from the big hyperscalers like AWS, uh, Azure and GCP is still there. They're obviously not sovereign when you look at GDPR and other restrictions of uh, regulations in Europe, but they still have very good offering that can be implemented into a locally defined area that satisfies some requirements. So data sovereignty is something that's been much talked about and not much uh, invested uh, in at the moment. I would finalize with AI, which is obviously on the agenda list of all of our clients. At the moment, the, uh, uh, they want to be sure that they get innovation from their partners and they want to be sure that they have the right partner that can um, trigger that uh, innovation because they know they have to do something. They know the market is ripe with use cases. They, they just want to choose the right one and they don't want to run a hundred different use cases at the same time. They want to do that in a stage approach and a priority approach.